What is up guys, Kelly Kev here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a fucking sexy looking bridge. Yes, you heard me, a bridge. A bit strange, but most people build their bridges straight, and uh, it's literally a fucking straight line, and it does my fucking, fucking Sweden, so today I'm going to be showing you how to do a fucking sexy ass bridge. Now, not I'm not going to connect all of this, purely because, um... You know, fucking all the way down there. Jesus, man, it's going to look crazy all the way down there. But what I might do is make an L to connect it from here over to here. So what you're going to need for this build is my personal preference. You can change the blocks anytime that you want or any blocks that you want. I'm going to be using a stone block for the main actual skeleton. I'm going to be using the cobble for a little bit of fine detail around the edges. And stone slabs and cobble slabs for detailing. And again, for the leaves for detailing as well. There's a lot more other detail parts, but I'll do those near enough to the end of the video. So you can start anywhere that you want. You want to make a platform. So what I'm going to be doing is bridging these two bits here before I go off to make a platform. So what we're going to be doing is probably come from here, going all the way along, just to section it off and to start the main bit for our bridge and for probably about there. I'm going to come all the way along and probably make it back here. You pretty much want to finalize making a sort of a rectangle or a square. Um, if you can't achieve that because of the woodland shit that's around here like this is in the way, then uh, you can just cut it in however you like. So I'm going to do that right now, like so. So after you've done that, you want to fill in your rectangle, and once you've done all that, then uh, you can come back, and then I'll be done as well. So I'm going to fill it all in, and uh, show what it looks like when it's done. So once you've done your cube, fortunately mine is actually 20 along, if you're following this exact same pattern, mine is 20 along. So you want an even number, purely because what the next step we're going to be doing is cutting it in. What we're going to be doing now is grabbing a particular stone that you want to be using. For us, it's going to be the cobblestone for the outline. You're going to come in five, one, two, three, four, five, and exactly the same on the other side in a minute. This is quite a big walkway, so please do remember that as well, guys. Two, three, four, five, and obviously this giant bit here is going to be the walkway. Now, easiest way to describe this is it needs to come a certain level up. And what do I mean by that? It's obviously you want to come up one, down one, one up, down up. And you'll see that in a minute when I explain it slightly in a minute. So you want to come grab your stone, which is going to be your primary, obviously, for the rest of this build. And you want to come out from the stems probably to about three. Three, and then from there you want to come up one extra. I'll show you what I mean. So three out, and three extra. And what I like to do is make the first bit slightly elongated. So probably come out however much I feel, so probably to about there, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, I'll go 10 on this one, fuck it, 8, 9, 10, and carry this over, you can do this on this one because obviously this bit won't be seen as much, you can keep that there, it's entirely up to you, but I'm going to keep it there, purely because this is the bridge, and obviously a bridge is pretty solid, and I don't really want this one hovering too much, so, from here what I'm going to be doing is just filling the rest of this in, and uh, I'll show you what I'm going to be doing in the next step. This is obviously you're probably thinking, well, like just controversially the same thing that you just said about obviously it being a straight bridge. It's not purely because of the pattern that I'm going to be using on this bridge. So obviously, as you can see right now, just filling it with any particular color. It doesn't matter what you fill it in with. It just needs to be filled in as it is a set bridge at the moment. So after filling it all in, which we're going to be closely done pretty damn soon. After that. I apologize for the clicking if you can hear it, I'm just trying to get this done as quickly as I can. So after that, as you can see, three missing on this side, three missing on this side, then it is ten all the way along. It needs to be even as well. So after this, what you want to be doing is coming out in a circle motion. This doesn't need to be bang on circle, it just needs to be similar a reference to a circle. So from the tenth one here, I'll suggest I'll probably come out two, if the lag ever goes. So one, two, and then after that, you probably want to come in one, out one, in one. And then after that, one out, one more, then come all the way along, probably about five in total. So two, three, four, five. I'm going to probably go, yeah, and then mimic six, and then mimic the exact same thing on this side that you've just done over here. So, see so one, two, and then come in one, two, one, two, like so. And then after that, do the exact same this side. So come out two in total. So two. And if you see if you're struggling to find a reference, have a little look, so this is obviously going to be three in total. Three, and they come in one, I think something like that. Two, four, five, six. 
And yeah, obviously come in one, out one, in one, out one, in. And that should be connected like so. Then after that, just connect them for the time being. And you want to remember this particular pattern that you put on this bit until you finish. So please do remember this pattern. So from here, obviously, we're building a bridge that's going to go up. So it's going to be a pretty damn solid bridge. And we're actually just kind of connect it there. You can continue with this pattern all the way along. Depends how long you want the bridge. But uh, we're just going to be building it for a short distance and then connecting it probably somewhere around here. So after that, you probably want to come up just an extra one. Just come in away one from the actual build. So away in from one, as you can see, like so. Then after that, come all the way along with your block. And there we go, just carry it on a little bit. Obviously you want to repeat this pattern in a minute, so it's all up to you, you can go 10 again, miss 10, 10 again, miss 10, 10 again, it's entirely up to you, which we're going to be doing, so 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, so that would be the finalised point of that one. The detailing is crucial on this, it's not just because uh, you might think it looks a little bit sloppy at the moment, but if you see in the thumbnail, that's basically what we're going to be building in this whole entire build. Let's come all the way along. It gets very tricky when you're trying to cut edges as well. Normally, nine times out of ten, I just use this for a straight bridge, uh, purely because of the detailing on it is just a phenomenal when it's straight. But curved, it might look a little bit different. So once you've done that, you want to build the exact same shape that you just did here. Just carry on with the same thing there. So once you've done that, you want to come up two, one two, to make it a three. We'll come one in, one out, one in, one out. And then from this one, it's going to be six and tails. Two three, one, two three. One in, one out, one in, one out, and then obviously this bit is going to connect to there. And exactly the same thing on the side, guys. It needs to be the exact same thing as this pattern. As you can see, it's going to be slightly crooked and weird, but obviously with the detailing and near enough the end of the video, I'll show you exactly what I mean. So, one, two, just going to make a three. So we're going to come uh, in, one out, one in, one out, one. And then from here, three, one, two, three, from there. And we're going to come in, one out, oh, in, one out, one in, one out one which is going to be there and that should i'm hoping should connect which it does marvelously so as you can see you want to go in sort of those motions constantly you come in one out one in one out one in one out one. and if this was actually a straight bridge what we do is just build it all the way along here but uh, i can't at the moment purely because uh, there's all this shit in the way but it's just an example so i'm going to turn this baby around right now it's the easiest way to do this is to come obviously back in from one from the middle we can finalize or follow this particular pattern here so we can do come two in now so as you can see this lines up with this just roll it all the way along i'll show you what i mean so this connects to this it's going to come out five that's six sorry in total so two three four five six like so and then we'll obviously we've got seven eight nine and ten now we're going to turn this so we're going to come this way now we're going to make this sort of sort of somewhat straight come all the way down like so and once you've come away from this whole entire thing in total then uh, you can start building the next pattern over and over and over again so probably come away just slightly further away it's talent to you just do it by eye just do it by eye how you feel probably one more on that one so like so and come out oh no I was right one two one bear in mind guys you need to repeat that pattern so one two and come uh, in one out one, in one out one, one, two, three, four, five, six, and in one out one, in one out one, in one, like so, same thing on this side, one, two, uh, in one, out one, in one, out one, three, one, two, three, in one, out one, in one, out one, and this should connect, like so. And then you just basically want to do the same thing uh, one more time, just over here, just to connect. Might need to cut this back a so slightly. You want to come in one, go underneath. There we go, like so. like this and then they're getting the same pattern just to connect it off black a so. so we're going to come 
two. In one, out one, in one, out one. Three, four, five, six, which should connect. Yep, which it does. Same again this side as well. One, two, in one. Excuse me, Mr. Squid. In one, out one, in one, out one. Three, four, five, six, which is there. Obviously, round this up. Just grab it again. So, in one, out one, in one, out one. And the same thing again. In one, out one, in one, out one. I'm not sure it connects all the way as well. This would look so much better if as well if it's straight. Please do remember that, guys. Sorry as well, I didn't prep this area purely because I didn't know how it was going to go. So, there we go. That's pretty much the finalised pattern. Probably thinking, what the hell is that? How does that even work? You know, what the hell is it? It doesn't anything like thumbnail. It's all about detail, guys. It's all about detail. So after this, you pretty much want to, what you want to do is you want to run your cobblestone around up to the tops. Like so. Just run all the way around. Like so. After this, there's a little pattern as well, which I'll show you what you can do. Make sure these connect as well, guys. Don't don't skip out on any of this. Should it connects like so. I'm going to get rid of this rain because it is lagging me. So as you can see as well, that the trim is not almost to perfection. You just want to come out an extra one on each one of these trims, like so. You can follow this all the way around. To have a careful eye when you go to these corners as well because it gets very very trippy and with the high bits as well just carry it on all the way around like so and connect the top bits in a minute I'll show you what I mean by that in a sec like this for instance oh. This is obviously going to connect purely because, um, I'm going to say purely because that is that level. And you can go down, corresponding to the same level. And this can carry on all the way along. All the way around the edges. Follow it all the way around, like so. And there we go, you very much want to follow that pattern the whole way around like this. So one underneath the step, so for instance, one underneath like this. And then one like this, so one here, one there, and so on and so forth, like this. Just follow that all the way around the whole pan, and then I'll show you what it looks like when it's all done. So as you can see, I followed it all the way around, and it looks pretty damn cool. I'm pretty happy with it. Just apart from I've got to finish these final bits there. There we go. Pretty damn happy with it, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much how it looks all the way around. As you can see, it's even the side skirts on this bit as well. There we go. Lovely jubbly. Now. After that you want to grab your stone slabs and this is where it gets a little bit tricky and it's up to you how you want to do this but uh, I'm probably going to do it from here and you just want to build it one in from the actual stone trimming so for instance like so and build this across. Now this can be time consuming I know that for a damn fact um, it depends how you want to do this as well you can do doubles and then carry it all the way along but uh, you pretty much want to keep in all, every single time keep in all the way along around here as well so basically you're just filling it in just with the stone slab so you know I'm not going to show you all of this because I'll literally be here for ages but uh, well worth it in the end I'll do all of it and then when you come back to it I'll uh, show you what it looks like so yeah I'll show you what it looks like when we come to it so yeah two seconds here we go so after you've filled it all in it should look something similar to like this which looks pretty fucking sexy you've got a couple of steps here a couple of steps there if this was longer as well this way it would have been equal to the same pattern make sure we have an equal burst between these circles but obviously it didn't have this one because we're going in a l shape obviously the best bet is probably to do this in a straight line to get the maximal potential out of it 
So after you've laid all your flooring and everything's one underneath the trimming, so make sure that every uh, slab that you do place is a flooring, it's underneath the trimming on the outside, the first top layer that corresponds with that. And as you can tell, I've just started here just with uh, consuming or concealing the rest of this bridge, and you can just do that all the way around. Make sure it doesn't come too close underneath the um, actual sort of build of your bridge. You want to make sure that it just uh, covers the underneath. You can see the underneath of the belly pan, like so. You can do that for the whole thing around, and once we've done that, I'll show you what it looks like when it's all done. So as you can see, I filled in all the signs. This is what it looks like as well. As we go round, you can have a little look. It looks pretty damn swanky. It looks pretty good. Not too bad. This is the easiest method to do this, by the way, guys. If you want to argue the toss of doing the outer layer first, then coming in one, that's totally cool. But uh, method of the madness lies here, and I think this looks pretty damn sexy. So what we're going to be doing now is the rest of the detailing, which is pretty nice and easy. So from the first step, Obviously not on the first step, but on the first step here, you want to come in and find the middle. So I think the middle is going to be here. So we've got four on this side and four on this side. And what you want to do is run the leaves all the way down to the very edge. As so, like a pattern that just comes all of the way along. Actually, for the rest of it, like that. Like that when you come to this slab. So you want to just build all this the whole way along all the way, all the way to we connect to the other side, so I'll do that real quick and then we'll have a look what it looks like afterwards. So as you can see the stripe runs through the middle, I decided just to do a one stripe just because uh, it looks better coming through this side. Uh, if this was longer then I could have had two, but uh, as it stands I only can have one, so I'm going to keep it as one as well. Final thing for this bridge and final attachments that you can do on this bridge is to actually make some sort of lollipop lights which I like to call them so I'll show you how to do one of those real quick and then we'll bump a few out and I'll show you what they all look like. So first of all we're gonna need fence just to search for it's gonna be a little bit easier. It's gonna be for a standard oak fence and then we're gonna try and find the middle between all of this so uh, here I think here will be the middle like so we've got one either side and then two right there and then we'll come up one two three and then or on either side like so and then grab a wood and just connect them like so and then after that you can just put torches or you can make them or you can make those pieces of wood actual glowstone so tell it to you for me and we have them as torches so we're going to do that all the way around on each one of the circle rivets as you can see like there and then I'll show you what it looks like when we're all done so there we have it guys, there are the lollipop lights as you can see in each dimension of the actual circles going around. Remember guys, this is purely just for a straight line, but you can mimic this one and alter it and customize it any time you like. So if you did enjoy this video, make sure to hit me up with that like and that comment is much appreciated. But until the next time guys, get a here and get a out.